kilo this morning, which is basically a company who deals in second-hand clothing. Um, they have events where they have rails and rails and rails of um, second-hand clothing, vintage clothing, and I find it's a really good place to get second-hand clothing. I myself only wear second-hand clothing now. Um, I basically can't, I don't like the, uh, the amount of stuff that goes into landfill and since I have two of the worst hobbies for um, pollution, I'm a cosplayer which is a very very polluty hobby and I also crochet now I haven't been doing that for very long but both are kind of bad for the environment because you know cosplay uses a lot of plastic and fabric and so where I can I try and be more sustainable in my life um in other areas, cosplay, I'll try and sort of secondhand fabric and buy like bed sheets and things to make cosplays out of curtains. And kind of can't really with crochet unless I spend more money on, you know, wool that doesn't have plastics in it. But um, not everyone can do that. I know not everyone has the money to do that. Um, yeah, so clothing. Even for the rest of my whole life, my mum's always been like, oh, you know, you don't need, please excuse the Christmas decorations. Like I said, we're hiding. I'm just going to do my makeup. Uh, yeah, we're hiding downstairs. But yeah, my mum's always been a big believer in you don't need um, the latest trends and you don't need clothes that are brand new and all this so my whole life I've kind of been wearing secondhand clothing anyway uh, but now I'm an adult and I have adult money I try you know to be good and uh, stick to secondhand clothing but I love it there's nothing better than going to a charity shop or uh, a pre-loved kilo or finding something online and being like yes this is amazing I found this oh, my makeup is going to be bad I don't know I'm very bad at makeup I don't normally wear makeup I like to, um, and sorry, I'm going to be very, very, very bad at like looking at the camera. Um, I don't normally wear makeup. But, like if I'm going somewhere special or, you know, if I'm doing something that I don't normally do, then yeah. I mostly don't wear makeup. I mostly just wear makeup for cosplay. Um, anyway, yeah, so pre love kilos are a great way to find uh, second hand clothes. As long as you don't mind digging, which I don't, um, it can be a bit intimidating because the one we're going to, they're holding it at the warehouse. They're like, main base of action kind of thing and they basically just throw open the doors and they restock everything throughout the day so you don't have to go like me and my sister and my mum we never go straight away because they restock throughout the day so it's not like if you don't get there you won't get the good stuff they basically 
restock the rails as they're going. Um, so when we and my sister go, sorry, we like to make a day of it. And we'll go into, because the headquarters is in Sheffield, we'll go to Sheffield first and we'll go into the town first. And we'll go to their store because they've got a shop in the town so if that's open we'll be going to the shop and um so we go to the shop we do the charity shops we get japanese food because we love it and we can only get it in sheffield because where we live it's really mm, rural and they don't do things like that the best we can get is chinese food but if you're in england there's pretty much a chinese everywhere you go but Japanese food, not so much. So, we're going to do that. Um, yeah, we make a day of it. And then we go in the afternoon to the actual warehouse. And there's usually nobody there by the time we get there. And then we've got the run of the... run of the, sh run of the stuff. Like, it's not busy... I'm going to have to fix my makeup. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can't really see. Uh, yeah, I've got the run of the... we got the run of the stuff, so... And there's denim, so jeans, jackets, overalls, shoes. I get all my shoes from there. They, usually, they used to be £5 a pair. I don't know if they're still £5 a pair. I love Converse and Vans and all that good stuff. Handbags, coats, anything you could think of. So, like I said, we're going to make a day of it. We're going to go into Sheffield. I don't know if I'm keeping my hair like this. So I look really bleh. Um, Yeah, we're going to go into Sheffield. Make a day of it. Go secondhand shopping because we all love it. And yeah. If I remember, I'll show you what I'm wearing because everything I'm wearing is secondhand. So show you what I'm wearing today. So I'm wearing this Alice Cooper t-shirt. I absolutely love Alice Cooper. He's one of my favourite musical artists. And it's thrifted. It's very cool. And then I'm wearing this ASOS it's very twisted uh, skirt on the bottom. <laughs> I was going to wear it with these. I got given these for my birthday. An orange. These are from ASOS. And they're actually, I don't know. Yeah, you can see they're fluffy. And I thought that the, these would go with this. Thought I might make a cute outfit. Hold on. Can you even see? Oh, just about. If I go right up here. This is cute. I'm not sure. I don't normally wear skirts, so I'm feeling a bit self-conscious. But does it look okay? I mean, in my head I thought it would be cute, but let me know. Okay, so in the end, I didn't feel comfortable in that outfit. <laughs> Something about the skirt. Anyway. I put on these River Island jeans. They're grey. They got rips in the knees. This one's really ripped. Uh, this little black long sleeve crop top and I'm going to pair it with this vest that I thrifted in Skegness in a charity shop. Look at this. Somebody made this. It's knitted. So, and I love it. So to whoever knitted this, thank you for your many hours of work and effort. There was another one there. I'm assuming it was made by the same person, but it was just in colors that I didn't like. This is the one I went with in the end. Um, the only thing was when I bought it, I had really bad boob gapage between the buttons because I'm a plus size lady and uh, big boobs. 
So what I did was I put these yellow poppers on in between the buttons and they're so freaking cute. Like, come on, so cute. And also I was thinking of pairing it with this necklace. Now this is beaded and I brought this back from Spain when I was a kid in the 90s. And it's just these things are quite popular at the minute. But I was thinking that with this outfit, I mean, come on, like this was meant to go with this vest. Yes, and I thought I would just put on the orange fluffy shoes, so that's what we're going with, so yeah. <laughs> I thought you weren't allowed to be in the video. You're gonna put a panda or something over my face, aren't you? <laughs> I'm gonna try. Everything's closed. I think you should put a panda head over my face. We're gonna go get some food instead. Food!
basically we went into Sheffield to do our usual, um, do the pre love kilo shop, do the charity shops, do all that good stuff. And none of it was open, so I've just changed into a t-shirt. So I'm a bit more comfortable, because yeah, you got to be comfy. So I'll just show you, um, so everything I've got here, apart from one thing, is from the pre-love kilo today. Um, yeah, so Let's I'm just going to do accessories first because everyone likes a good accessory. Um, and something about me is I like to collect handbags. Everyone says I have too many handbags, but you can't go wrong with a good bag. And so I got this one and it's just a little brown handbag and it's actually broken. It's got these little things that if I show you on the back, they're supposed to hold the straps together, but I am quite good with a needle and thread and a sewing machine being a cosplayer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this one and then downstairs I think I've got some leather that I can use to repair it. And um, to a size reference, head. Um, it's got this really cute sunburst pattern on the clasp and then it just opens up like this. And it's just open inside. I thought it was really cute and it was really unusual and the funny thing about it was when I was paying for it <coughs> the guy who um, I don't know if he owns it or runs it or whatever the, the pre love kilo he was like oh my god I love your handbag and I was like it, I'm, I'm just paying for it and he was like oh so it's one of my handbags so yeah I, don't know, I just thought it was cute so yeah that's my handbag Next, we've got this scarf. Oh, there's no brand on the handbag. I couldn't find a brand on the handbag. No. There's no brand on the handbag. Um, next up is this scarf, which I thought was freaking adorable. And it's got these, like, autumn leaves. I don't even know. It's autumn leaves. It's very, very cute. And I thought... It would look cute as a bandana in my hair when my hair's down or maybe it would look cute just like you know in a ponytail <laughs> anyway I just thought it was cute and you know I like things like that I've got loads of dust on me from the handbag now just okay next is this pink shirt blouse I don't know what you want to call it but it's got these lovely little cut out detailies on the sleeve and this really nice like bobbly texture pattern to it and there's some cutouts on the front and cutouts on the right i thought oh on the collar look the collar is like and if anyone's interested this is ms mode that's the brand but i just thought it would look really cute um, over a tank top tied up around my waist or maybe it would look cute on its own with a pair of shorts or so yeah I thought it would be cute um, next up is a skirt I don't wear skirts very often they are great though in the summer when <laughs> if I should say if it gets warmer in the UK um, not warm for very long when it is but yeah when it is it is and it's just this little kind of pastel tropical vibe I guess elasticated waist the brand is Coret K-O-R-E-T and it says made in the USA I'm probably butchering that but yeah I just thought it'd be cute on its own with a white tank top or pink tank top and some sandals so yeah that's that the last thing I got from yeah the last thing that I got from the kilo is this hoodie and it just says Orlando Florida I just like the colors because I am a bright color girly and I just thought it's just gray plain over the head no zip but I thought I would crop it. I thought it would look quite cute cropped. So I'm going to crop it. Not much. Just take the bottom band thing off. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be 
adorable to just throw over things in the summer. And I am going to add on one last thing onto my haul because my sister just came back from um, a trip. And uh, she gave me a present and uh, she got it from a charity shop called the Children's Society and it's this orange oh, sleeveless jumper thing I don't know is it a sweater vest or is it not a vest because it's got a collar I don't know either way it's cute it's soft and she told me it was four quid I think and the brand is FW Bridge FW Bridge never heard of it <coughs> but it'd be cute on its own it's given me it's given me Ashley from Resi 4 do, 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 do you see it do you see it but I love it um yeah on its own with the jeans with any with a skirt I don't, I don't know maybe not a skirt jeans on its own or maybe something underneath it but I feel like maybe not maybe I'll try it on with something underneath it and see what it looks like but yeah so that's everything I got in my haul I hope you enjoyed my little vlog even though we didn't do much thrifting we were expecting to do a whole lot more but with everything being shot um, we just didn't get to do it so um, yeah if you liked it, I'm going to be doing more. I've got another trip coming up in a couple of weeks. As I mentioned, I'm also a cosplayer, so I thought I might do some cosplay videos, like making things or shooting things, things like that. And I'm also pretty good with a sewing machine, so if I get anything that I can like modify. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, then like and subscribe and put on the bell because I do play games at the minute I'm playing Resident Evil 4 the remake on the PlayStation 5 um, so if you want I've got plans for for my next one I'm gonna do my next game live in full cosplay so that will be fun um, yeah so all that sounds like your sort of thing then like subscribe feel free to write something in the comments say hi and um, yeah, I'll see you later.